there are several contemporary theories uh, to management and to try to answer the question of, of what managers should do. And so most of the time of businesses, they use what was called the closed systems perspective. And this was basically the idea of a clock. So with a clock is as long as everything is functioning well internally, every it just works. All right. So if, if you run the business well, the business will be successful. If the business is not successful, then it is a problem with how you were managing the business. This is as opposed to the open system perspective. Now with the open systems, this comes from uh, biology. And so the person you yourself is an open system. You interact in your environment. You have to bring in resources from the environment in, in order to survive. Your body is composed of various systems, such as your circulatory system, digestive system, and things along those lines. And so with this, and much like your body, you have to interact with the external environment to get the things that you need and then all your internal systems need to be functioning as well. So too does a business. A business operates in a business environment and in order for that business to succeed, it has to uh, effectively acquire things from that environment, such as uh, raw materials, uh, money, uh, people resources, and then it has to transform them in a efficient way and then it has to then put things back into the environment, such as, you know, your, uh, your finished good. And so not only do organizations have to pay attention to how they're functioning internally, but they also have to pay attention to what is going on in the external environment, changing rules and regulations, laws, uh, changes in technology, changes in values in the society in which they're operating in. And so these are all things that can ultimately determine whether a business is successful. How do they respond to those changes in the environment? And then an additional uh, contemporary theory of management is the contingency approach to management. And so with the contingency approach, it basically says the best way to manage is it depends. All right. A big part of management thought for a very long time was trying to find the one best way to do something, the one best way to run a business, the one best way to manage people. But the reality is there is no one best way that's going to work in every situation the best way is going to be situationally dependent. And that is the, the, the gist of the contingency approach. 